Sometimes controlling the bleeding is difficult because of the location of the wound. Tourniquets and pressure dressings work well on the extremities, but are less effective in the junctional region or space between the extremity and the torso. These areas require the use of pressure or wound packing to stop bleeding. Packing a wound is just what it sounds like. The most effective way of controlling bleeding is with our finger, but sometimes we have to apply additional material to maintain pressure on the bleeding vessel. This can be accomplished in a simple five-step approach. First, you want to identify the source of the bleeding, if at all possible. Next, you'll want to aggressively apply pressure to that bleeding vessel with your finger or your hand. Third, you'll want to fill that space over the vessel with gauze or hemostatic agent to help maintain pressure and compression of that bleeding vessel between your finger and the bone. Fourth, once you fill the space completely, you'll need to apply continuous direct pressure to that wound bed for as long as possible. And of course, finally, you'll want to secure that packing with a pressure dressing of some kind. Now it sounds intimidating, but we know you can do it. This isn't as hard as it sounds, and your definitive and confident actions can help to save a life.